Components can be set to the selection basket using two methods, non-graphical and graphical. The selection basket can be used to store components for further processing. The non-graphical method for storing components is achieved using the equals, plus and minus icons within the toolbar of most views, but they will only activate once you highlight the appropriate components within the view. So for example, in the model tree, if we drop down to the ground floor of the SMC building and click on the ground floor name, you'll see the buttons become active. So these buttons allow us to set, to add and to subtract from the selection basket. The first time you set components to the selection basket is carried out using the equals function. This behaves in a similar way to the standard copy to clipboard function in most operating systems. If a different component selection is required, such as the first floor, we then press the equals function again and you'll see the selection basket changes. The addition and subtraction of components from the selection basket can be carried out using the plus and minus icons. By using various combinations of the model view hierarchies or classifications, specific items can be easily added or removed. I'll use the show all button to restore the view to its default components. Components can also be added to the selection basket graphically using a 3D view. This is done by activating the select tool from the component pull down menu or by pressing a keyboard shortcut number 6. Setting selection basket components in the 3D window is done by simply left mouse button clicking on any component. You'll see the component will turn blue to indicate it's now part of the current selection basket. To add or remove from the selection in the 3D window, Hold Ctrl on Windows or Command on Mac and left button click on additional components. If the component is not already part of the selection, it will be added and turn blue. If the component is already set, when we Ctrl click or Command click, it will change from blue back to its previous default colour. Multiple components can be selected using the area function. To do this, click and hold the left mouse button without the mouse moving until the cursor changes to the one shown just now. Keep the left mouse button pressed and drag the window to use the select function. If we go from left to right, you can use the window select method where only components fully enclosed in the bounding box are selected. Or if you go from right to left, you can use the crossing selection method where any component inside or even touching the boundary is selected. Only when you've finished highlighting the area that you require, do you let go of the mouse button. You'll notice once this is done, multiple components are selected blue, but you'll also notice all components within that area are selected from the foreground off to infinity. We can also use this method using the control and command if we want to add or remove from the same selection. So we can add these components, and if I highlight some that are already selected, these are removed. A typical example for this method of selection is to pass a set of components from the result of a rule to an information takeoff where data can be obtained about the past or failed components.